locked in. Future wealth, let's begin. Stack it, stack it, watch it grow. Silver coins in a row. Stack it, stack it, feel the thrill. Hello everyone, my name is Hector Silvercoin. Well, like I said, I have a few questions that might concern me. So, if you have gold, can the government seize your gold? Or the government could take your gold? Well, I think that it is possible that the government can interfere and take our gold coins. For example, in 1933, there was a Gold Confiscation Act where the government came in and asked all the people to turn in your gold. If not, you will get a fine or you will go to jail. Tell me something, that is crazy. So, what the people did, they actually, you know, they went to the bank and they turned in the gold for face value. That is crazy. Like, for when I mean face value, like this coin is, what is this? $50 coin, gold. That's what you get in currency. So, you have to turn in your gold. For federal currency in 1933 the government just robbed the people but my question is can they do it again I believe it is possible that the government could classificate a goal once again why because if it happened before, why not? It could happen again. That's how I feel. Now, here's the difference between a gold coin, American gold, versus like a normal bar or gold. The government could take this coin away, but not this gold. Because this coin here, it was made from the United States, you know, mints from America, American. They own this property. As long if you have the name written down, United States of America, it belongs to the government. Even though you own this, you hold this. It's just like if you lost something and you have your name written down and you lost something like for, for three days or four days and you find it and you say, hey, that's mine because it got my initial in it. It got my name. That's my property. It's the same way as gold because they have a United States of America. They claim ownership on this. If you have regular gold bar. It's okay. The government the government cannot take this away from you. Because this is minted, you know, by, by private mint. By private sector. You know, so they cannot take this away because it's not government property. Which is a good thing. That's why I like to diverse. You know, diverse, you know different type of um, gold coins and stuff like that 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 go the same way for let's see american silver eagle see they have the united states of america the government owns this coin they want to take your silver or your gold away they you have to turn this in for face value which is a dollar but if you have just, let's say, a normal Boonian coin, any kind of normal, you know, Boonian coin that does not have American name in it, that's fine. They cannot confiscate that. They cannot keep that. You own that. This is yours. They cannot take that away, which is a good thing. Even Constitution of Silver, 
if you have let's say like a dime of silver you know 19, this is 1963 but this is silver if you have dimes they could take the weight dimes too anything that have silver i mean that have um Amer united states they could take that too even the quarter they could take that too they will give you face value that's why i kind of you know try to diverse you know i keep some boonians coins you know some people keep regular rounds coins they cannot take this away who knows it's possible you never know that the government can, you know come in one time and say hey i want to you know take your gold and silver maybe if they try to save the dollar or whatever reason it's possible it could happen you never know that's you know sometime you got to think about those stuff you know because it happened one time in 1933 it happened the government say hey everybody turn in your gold if you don't turn in your gold you go to jail and you're gonna have a good fine but I believe in that day a lot of people turn in the gold. However, there's some people, you know what they did? I think there's some people took their gold and buried in the backyard and left it there for years. I believe so. Because I would have done the same thing too. If the government if the government tried to steal my gold, I would bury this gold and like I don't know nothing. I would do the same thing too. But it is concerning. It's possible that the government can't take your gold. You never know because, you know, the dollar value is going down. They need something strong, something to hold the dollar. You never know what's going to happen. That's why I try to diverse my metal, you know, instead of stacking just only American gold or silver coin you could do a regular boolean coin which is a little more safer you never know what's gonna happen you know so like like i was saying silver price is going up guys silver price it was around like 31 32 dollars an ounce and it's hard for me to buy some silver we have American Silver Eagle here. I go to the coin shop. And they want, they're asking $45 for this. Between $40 and $45 for American Silver Eagle. Oh my lord, check this out, man. I, I can't do $45 or $40. The price is, is too much high, you know. A regular Boonian coin. Just, you know, a normal coin. They're asking, I like, 31 dot no i'm sorry they're asking 35 to 37 dollars for a boolean coin that's that's okay i could deal with that you know i have no problem with that because it's a little cheaper see this boolean coin it, it's a little cheaper you know so that's the best way to go if you want to stack silver try to get boolean's coin you know, but if you want high end coin like American Silver Eagle, you're gonna pay a lot more. You're gonna pay between 40, 41. The premiums are real high for this coin. You know, even gold too. The gold the same way too. But yeah, you know, my prediction is silver price will continue to grow to thirty five dollars an ounce. Hopefully by December. If not, don't, I ain't worried about it because we have a new year coming. Hey, silver is going to continue growing. But it was, you know, between 31 and $32 an ounce. We haven't even hit the, the all-time silver price. It's around like $50, $51 an ounce. But that's what we're going to. But like I said, you know. That's something to think about. Can a government seize your coin? Can they can they take your gold coin 
or your silver coin today. If it happened once, it could happen again. They already did in 1933. I know in 2000 2024, it could happen. You never ever know. Because the government is pretty sneaky, you know. They're pretty sneaky up there. So just got to be careful. Just continue stacking. You know, if the, in my opinion, if the, if the government do try to take my gold away, I'm just going to bury that. Plain, simple. I'll probably give it, I'll probably give them, you know, a few coins here and there, you know, but the rest of them, I probably buried it in the, in the backyard and leave it there and forget about it for another 10 years. But that just me. That's just my opinion, you know. What about your opinion? How, what you think about the government try to, you know, confiscate your gold or your silver coin? It happened before. So, like I said, if it happened before, it could happen again. You never know. Well, guys, I just want to say, you know, thank you for listening to me. My name is Hector Silvercoin. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.